Building on top of the UI5 application we built in the previous episodes, we will now introduce the concept of fragments. Fragments are lightweight and reusable UI parts that don't require their own controller. A very popular use case for fragments are dialogues. Let's say for example we want to have a button in our master view that opens a feedback dialog. We can create this new dialog in a new file called feedbackdialog.fragment.xml. The fragment control itself comes from the core library and in our case contains a dialog. The dialog has a begin button and an end button aggregation, where we insert two placeholder buttons that will for now simply close the dialog, without actually submitting something. Let's now create the open and close methods in the master controller, as the fragment doesn't have its own controller, but uses the controller of the view it's being called from. We have to define a new private property, which we know will be of type dialog. The onOpenFeedback dialog method loads a fragment by its name in case it doesn't already exist. We can then cast the control, which is what the loadFragment method returns, into a dialog. Our IDE then helps us with the open method. The onCloseFeedback dialog simply gets the dialog and closes it. Let's see if that works. Fragments can also be used to simply nest UI parts. We can, for example, create a new file called toolbar.fragment.xml and paste our newly created feedback button, as well as the current toolbar we already have. We can then reference the fragment file in our main view. This makes our code much more readable and gives it a better structure. In case we want to split our UI into parts and the individual parts do require controller logic, we can also use nested views, which work similar to fragments but have the added benefit of being able to link a controller file. Let's continue in the next episode.